uh, Mike Cudworth. I'm from um, turning 54 in June and from the villages in Florida. And Mike, you sent me some video a while back and I looked at your swing flaws today and you didn't have much of a stride and your hand path was off. So show me the three things that you worked on here as far as improving your swing. You looked awesome at the end here. Okay, so, so a lot of it was my, I started off the bat position. Getting back connected as we yep. say, right? So I feel a little bit of stri uh, pull here, but the hands are loose. And we want to get that pinky off the end of the bat. Yeah. Drop the pinky off. Good. Then you're in a position where, you know, before you never got your hands back all the way, right? Right. And so for right. you, it I just starting like this. Yeah. Never brought them back. All right. And then what are the two things you work on? So the stride, you need to get the stride and then snap the hips and throw the hands at the ball. Right. And do you think about the snap at all? No, I mean you're just you're just thinking. Your hips show the hands so fast that the snap just right. comes, doesn't it? Right, it just happens. And what do you do sometimes on the low pitches? It's wrong. What do I? Well, I'll try to instead of just throwing the hands at the ball, I'll try to scoop down to get it. Try to lift the low yeah, pitch. Yeah, try to lift it. Just just throwing the hands at the ball and the hip snap. To, then every takes care of too it. fast to analyze, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Really so let's is. see if you have a knee high pitch and you scoop before knee high pitch. Let's see you take a stride and swing right through it. That's awesome. He's what do you what do you feel? He's swinging more powerful, faster. Right. I don't feel like I gotta try to lift the ball. It seems yeah. like it happens automatically when you're even though you're kind of swinging down at that low pitch, you still have a tendency to cut it and get a line drive. Now let's see, let's get a fully a chest type pitch now, a much higher one. You set your body and go back a little bit more. I think this is ace. I think this is awesome. You see how fast? And it flies out of your top hand. Sometimes you'd hang on to that. It's all because you throw so fast that the, the top hand will eventually come off and you're throwing it out of the top hand, basically, right? Right. And did you think? Did you used to think about the snap a little bit? What your snap was doing? No, I never... I was... I never really thought about the snap itself. I would think... I found myself, I was hitting it off the handle a lot, and I thought that was an issue with not throwing my hips. But once I got this and the snap, it was barreling up. I wasn't hitting the... What's the one thing? So you, so you go home, you can work on that connection drill, and your stats, you can work on the bat on the hip drill in front of a mirror. Right. You lift the waist a lot, so that'd be a good one to do. And then when you get to the game, it's simply a matter of making sure you throw your hips, throw the hands at the ball as fast as you can, and you trust the snap's going to happen. That's right. That's right. You just got to have faith in it. You just got to trust that your hands are going to do the job. So you grabbed the D Marini day. You hadn't hit the D Marini much before, had you? No, no. This this Denny Crime one's got some real pop. I've always been the. Um... And that's only a 25 end load. And... Right. You hit some balls out about 350 feet into the wind today. Yeah, so. very solid, very solid bat. I really, you would endorse it. Yeah, I absolutely. I, I fe felt real comfortable right out of the right out of the wrapper, basically. Well, hitting, you're explosive. You're an explosive dude, and look good. So. <laughs> well, Anything this bat definitely add? helps. I've watched your videos, and I was one of the reasons I came to this camp was so I'd get a chance to to work with you, so you could find some flaws in my swing and, and you identified a lot and man, I really appreciate it. Well, it's, it's not too complex, is it? No, no, it really isn't. And it's just going to take repetition now. Just really work on it. You know, it's going to it's going to eventually get comfortable in a game, but I'm going to I'm going to have to really work in the cages. So. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. All right. I turned 81. I had no energy. I was loose in the loafers and had no desire to swing. And then a friend told me about the new D Marini senior nautilide line of bats. Now my confidence is back and I'm hammering away like a 25 year old. Swing D Marini's my friends.